Okay, this is uh, probably 1930s era Art Deco neon clock <clears throat> that I'm going to have up for sale on eBay. Um, I did want to make a quick video just to show that the clock is indeed working. Um, the clock motor is extremely quiet, which is nice, and the transformer that is now installed makes almost absolutely no noise. I mean, you have to have your ear right up to the uh, surface of the clock to actually hear anything. So, um, the tubes, both tubes, the in, inner and outer neon tubes are brand new. The transformer is a modern replacement uh, that came from the shop that made the tubes for me. So, um, the clock face is all original. And... Of course, there's a lot of reflection because of the glass, but uh, someone had already made an attempt to clean the clock face before I got this. And you can see that there is some streaking um, from the uh, raised graphics. And that's that old, you know, I'm not sure what kind of paint it was or material, but it... Uh, it starts to flake off or uh, streak if you wipe anything over it. So I used um, some Q-tips and uh, worked around the lettering as best I could without trying to, without taking off any additional um, material, and uh, you know, clean up the uh, enamel portion of the uh, clock face. I mean, it's. It's far, far, far from perfect, um, but uh, it is all original, and it hasn't been touched up. It has just been cleaned, and uh, it 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 looks really nice. So um, that's about it. I did repaint the entire clock. Um, of course, all of the fittings, like the glass holders and everything. Um, all that was removed. Um, I used a minimum three coats of ultra flat primer and then at least two coats, two to three coats of uh, semi gloss paint. You know, it's not going to be perfect. There are going to be a few scuffs from uh, um, assembly and disassembly. I did add, like here, I added some uh, rubber washers to uh, avoid uh, paint loss there. Um, the glass is not a perfect fit. If you see, there is a small gap there. Of course, I mean, that's pretty hard to tell at any distance. I mean, this is probably three feet away. Um, so, uh, the glass, of course, will be removed um, when and if the clock is shipped, and uh, there will be more details about that in the listing. The clock does have three built-in hangers, um, two, one on each side, and then there is also one in the back that will be shown in the photos. The pull chain and switch assembly is the one that was in this clock when I got it, so I have no idea exactly how old it is, but that's even... Um, the original ball of um, cord that have, was never unstrung. That's exactly how I'm going to leave it. This is a braided cloth covered uh, cord replacement that I installed with a uh, brand new uh, plug in in it. So, and there are photos of the interior of the clock. So if you have any questions, let me know.